Today, we'll be building an AI-powered music generator API from scratch. A user can send a prompt describing the music they want to generate, and the response will contain URLs for the generated music, as well as a cover image. Let's get building. In BuildShip, create a brand new workflow. Let's add a trigger, and we'll select the REST API call trigger. A trigger is the entry point of any workflow, and as the name suggests, a trigger is responsible for triggering the execution of our workflow. The path here is the API endpoint we'll be able to call from any external application. Let's set this to generate. And we can leave the method set to get. Now we can start defining the functionality of our workflow. In BuildShip, we do this by using a combination of nodes. The first node we'll be adding is the get query param node. This is a utility node that will use to extract our prompt query parameter from the incoming request. We'll enter prompt with a key and we want to make it required. Now we're all set up to run our first replicate hosted AI model, MusicGen. MusicGen is a model created by Meta that allows you to generate music from a prompt. In BuildShip, let's add a new node. Under the replicate integration, you'll see we have a number of pre-built nodes for running models on a replicate. And this list is being updated regularly, but as you can see, we don't have any music gen node available. But don't worry because we can use the replicate client node to run any replicate hosted model. So let's add this to our workflow. First, we'll select our replicate token, or you can easily create one if you don't already have a replicate secret by just clicking add secret. Next, we need to enter the model we want to run, but this will go to the music gen API. And from here, we can select the model version. Now we can simply paste it here. So let's add the inputs we need to pass to the API. We'll pass our prompt as an expression value. In BuildShip, expressions are dynamic values that we can insert as input values. These values are usually derived from the return values of other nodes. Here, we'll just pass the prompt return from our get query param node. Lastly, we want to pass some default options as an object. We'll set the model version to large and the duration to 30 so that our generated music will be 30 seconds long. Next, we'll add the OpenAI chat node. The reason we work to use this node is because we also want an AI-generated cover image for the requested music. But in order to generate a beautiful and accurate image to go along with the music, we need to add more context to the original prompt. And this is where GBT excels. Let's add our system prompt. All we're doing here is telling GPT to write a good prompt for us to generate an image. Next, we'll select our OpenAI secret key. The user request will be the prompt, which we can get from the get query param note. Lastly, we'll select the model to be GPT-4. Great. Now we can add the replicate node to generate the cover image using our GPT generated prompt. But this time around, we have a specific replicate node for doing just this. Let's add a node and under the replicate group, select the stability AI generation node. This node uses the SDXL model from stability AI to generate beautiful images given a prompt. We'll select our replicate API key. And for the input prompt, we'll use the GPT generated prompt, which we can get from the OpenAI chat node. And we can simply leave the width and height as is perfect. At this point, we have all the logic in place for generating both the music and cover image. Now, the last two nodes that we'll be adding are for uploading both of these to Google Cloud Storage. We do this because the URLs that we get back from Replicate expire after a while. So instead, we want to persist them. Let's add a new node. Under Cloud Storage, select the upload file from external url node we'll use this node to upload the contents of the urls we get back from replicate to cloud storage and get a publicly accessible url that we can use forever 
because we'll have two of this same node, we'll rename it to upload image. For the URL, we'll set it to the value returned from the stability AI image generation node. And for the file name, we'll set it to image.png. We'll add the same node again. This time we want to upload the generated music. So let's rename this node to upload music. For the URL, we'll use the return value of the replicate client node, which we used initially to run the music gen model. And for the file name, we'll enter music.wave. Our workflow is almost complete. We just need to add a return node to return the public URLs for the generated music and cover image. First, let's set the status code to OK, and now we'll pass the return values as an expression. We'll return an object with two fields. The first will be the music URL, which we can get from the upload music node. We'll add another for the cover image URL, which we can get from the upload image node. And that's it. We can finally deploy our workflow. And after a few seconds, we can see that our deployment was successful. Now let's copy the workflow endpoint and we can send our first test request. We'll pass the prompt as a query param. And for the value, let's enter 80s style synthwave. And let's send the requests. And after a few seconds, we get back the music URL and cover image URL. We can take a look at the generated image and we can clearly see it appears to be synthwave themed and aligns well with our generated music. Amazing. As you just saw, we didn't touch or write a single line of code. Using BuildShip to build your next AI powered project is not only efficient, but also remarkably intuitive. BuildShip's integration with leading AI technologies like Replicate, OpenAI, and Hugging Face, just to name a few, enable even those with minimal coding experience to build powerful and interactive workflows. From music generation to creating captivating cover images, the possibilities are endless. So whether you're an AI enthusiast, a developer looking to incorporate AI into your apps, or simply someone intrigued by the endless possibilities AI presents, BuildShip, with its pre-built integration nodes and low-code toolings, offers a seamless and innovative way to bring your ideas to life. Dive in, experiment, and harness the power of low-code with BuildShip. Happy building, see you in the next one.